Hello everyone, this is a short tutorial on how to use the image overlay function within the heat mapper interface. Heat mapper is a free online application for visualizing different types of data as heat maps. It's the first tool of its kind that allows users to display many different classes of heat maps in one user-friendly web application. Heat mapper has five different classes of heat maps. Expression heat maps, pairwise comparison heat maps, image overlay heat maps, geo maps, and geo coordinate heat maps. This tutorial only deals with the image overlay heat maps. This function displays a heat map over an image and can be used for a wide variety of applications. For example, it can be used to create a custom heat map of measured bacterial presence or abundance in different parts of the body, or to overlay x rays over CT scans and other such tests. It can even be used to find weather trends over a region. To navigate to the heat mapper interface, open up your favorite browser and type in heatmapper.ca. This will take you to the heat mapper homepage. All of the different types of heat mappers can be found here. Let's look at the image overlay interface specifically. The header inside the image overlay function allows the user to navigate to any of the other heat mapper functions. The menu on the left allows customization of the heat map. Before we can try to edit a heat mapper, however, we have to create one. This heat mapper function requires two input files, an image file and a grid file to superimpose on it. Let's take a look at the file input options and then try it out. The image overlay function takes in comma separated files, tab delimited files, and Microsoft Excel files for the data values. For the image, it can take PNG, JPEG, or TIFF file formats. There are also some specifications within the input to consider. There are two acceptable formats for the grid data in the image overlay heat mapper, long format and wide format. The long format specifies grid values by X and Y coordinates. Each combination of X and Y coordinates have to be in the data set here. This type of input also requires a header row with columns X, Y, and value typed out. The wide format, on the other hand, includes only grid values with implied X and Y coordinates. Values here are given as a matrix that's mapped onto the image. And this type of image doesn't require any header row. I have a sample file here that we can use to test out the program. And we can use this sample grid to superimpose on the image. Using this example, let's take a look at some of the options available. The display option allows the user to choose the distribution for the overlaying grid. The default is Gaussian, which smooths the distribution, while the square option does not. The Gaussian radius multiplier option allows the user to adjust the bandwidth for the kernel density estimation. A higher value smooths the graph further. The contour smoothness option allows the user to adjust the number of grid points in each direction for kernel density estimation. The heat map opacity option adjusts the opacity of the grid overlay. A higher value would more clearly display the heat map distribution here. Finally, there are two download options that may be used to download the image or data at any step during the process. The plot option will download the image as seen on the web page, whereas the table option will download the data in a table format. This will contain the positions and values for the overlaid grid. This has been an overview of the image overlay function in Heat Mapper. Thank you for watching.